Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. Currently here on a Friday with my Friday shirt on, so congratulations to everyone who has made it through Friday onto the weekend. Got this shaker here, so it's one of the Yam Squad shakers, but the factory didn't have enough to fulfill the order in black, so I do have a few of these red limited edition shakers. They aren't currently on the website, but let me know if you would like a red one. I could put them on there. Like I said, they're limited edition. There's only, I think there's five, five or just a little bit more than five in the actual package that I have of the whole amount of shakers. But look at this. So, but a bit of the tents have up and the fog as well. I'm not sure if you can see that. Absolutely fantastic. Great weather this morning. Lovely flat water. Hopefully the wind stays nice and calm. But we're talking about pieces in the four today. We're going to get yamming on it in the four at some point today, maybe even both sessions and also about the Patreon. So I've kind of set it up, I think, but we're going to get to that once we have got changed and probably after the yamming in the four. So let's get to it. Outside of Leander Club once more after yamming on it in the fours a little bit of lower rates in preparation a lot of preparation this week like I've been mentioning for the seat racing going on next week and if you're new here welcome to the yam squad remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button but as you can see behind me this whole thing if you look at the start of the video this whole start of the boat tents went up as we were on the water so they're fair you're going at some speed to get all of this up. Everything's laid out there. Just pop that up and then the covers will go on over there. That is for the boat tents. And then somebody asked in the comments yesterday where Leander boats from. We don't get a space in the tents because our boat bays are just downstairs and we boat from the dock over there. But we are talking about yamming in the four. The differences we have been rowing in the pair for a while with Robson in the learn to row pair. And now we're going to fours for seat racing. So as a rower at Leander Club, and at any club really, you kind of have to be able to row many different boats, or at least three different boat classes. So pair, four, and an eight if you are a sweet athlete, and then on a sculler, and a, if you scull, single, double, or quad. And there are variations to all the different boats. And I've spoke about that before, but in the four, it's just a little bit more set. I feel a little bit more comfortable. It's more similar to what I've been rowing in for the majority of my rowing career. I learned to row in eights, and so coming down into the fours, it's just a little bit more. It's a bigger boat. It's a little bit more. I feel a bit, a little bit more confident in it. The confidence is coming up in the pair, but it's taking me some time. I actually had a conversation with someone about 
really getting into training for the Olympics is an eight year thing. Some people are lucky enough to do a two year, three year cycle, but some people perhaps like myself is more of an eight year thing, but that's for the future. We've got a gorgeous day today and a little bit about the Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below for that. If you want to help me out with the, the reduction or the cut in funding that happened or is happening due to the performance at trials, uh, head to the link in the description and there's some tiers there. So the first tier is it's like a cup of coffee a week. Uh, I've been talking to different people and that sort of that helps me. So every little helps, as one may say. Um, and that just helps a few people there just to go and it's all going towards my sort of expenses. So food, because food is fuel and sort of rent and bills. And we've got a few more tiers as well. I'm still probably adjusting them by the time you see them. But one of them is the, the merch tier. I've tried to put that so it's, it's higher than the cup of coffee a week, but you get something more in return, which is a every month I'll be sending out a piece of merch per month designed by me. And unless it's hugely popular in some way, then it will be exclusive to the people that sign up for that tier. And then I'm still deciding on the other ones. I've put one called the sponsorship tier and I obviously don't expect anyone to do that, but it is there for potential people who really want to sort of essentially almost that that pays that'll almost pay all of my food or all of the rent or the bills etc so if someone feels generous enough to do that but that's just there for like a just in case maybe a, a sponsorship later down the line that someone can easily go on to that but like i said all of that's going towards um my expenses and trying to make sure that i can push my full-time rowing and take the stresses out of um, doing sort of part-time work in the afternoon. So obviously I'm sticking to the vlogs, which helps a little bit. The, there is There are ads on the videos and then doing some things for Instagram works too. But obviously I'm in an, a hugely privileged position to be rowing here at Leander Club and I'm very aware that any help that anyone gives me through the Yam Squad, through Patreon or through anything, even just the advice and the comments, etc. is absolutely amazing and it's as some, sometimes it's really humbling just to to even have just some of the comments are absolutely brilliant just to read and think okay um the yam squad putting these videos up have helped people so that will be it for me talking about money from now on uh, i'll let you know as things go on how things are going and if you are curious just you can dm me on instagram and if, if it doesn't disappear then I'll reply or let me know in the comments below what you think of the Patreon or what you think if there's any other ideas or if you want to know what's going on as well. But now after a session in the pair on this gorgeous day, it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. <laughs> and we've made it back into the crew room, like I said, to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. We've got some delicious breaded egg to breaded, breaded, breaded toast of eggs and the recipe is still lost. Maybe one day it will be known, it will be found out, maybe some studies will be done on Betty Day Coast, but that is for another time, because right now it's time to fuel that. <laughs> today for lunch fear? because remember food is fuel oh yeah oh yeah we've got some potatoes and is it chicken chicken no it's fish it's, it's, oh it's friday <laughs> it's not chicken yeah, it's, it's, fish. Yeah, it's fish yeah and there's friday oh yeah and 
it is time to fuel up after jamming in the fours once more because remember food is fuel and then we'll have a little bit of chat about the fours again before some exciting meetings all again and we have made it outside of the club i think i quite like speaking here as we get to see the developments just outside Leander Club for Henley Royal Regatta. All of those put up, as you saw at the start of the video, and then after, was it breakfast or before breakfast? These have now been fully put up, and then just the covers go over then the famous blue and white stripes. Maybe they'll change them this year, I do not know, but I assume they will be the same colour. But now it is the end of the day for training, and we were talking a little bit about yamming in the four. So you saw that a little bit, and unfortunately, I think the video didn't quite work for the first session, but you all already know about that, unfortunately. So the yamming in the four second session, bit shorter pieces, and getting a bit higher in the rates in preparation for the seat racing in less than a week's time, in a few days' time after this weekend. But I'll be talking about seat racing as we go through the day, uh, sorry, through the next week. I don't know about filming during seat racing because a lot of things, a lot of switches, a lot of things going on. And obviously the coaches probably don't want to show that either. But, like I talked about earlier, the differences between different boats and swapping from the pair. I was in a pair for a few weeks and then hopping into the fours now for this testing phase. The fours are very different. Very, very different. So, not only is the stroke itself different, you almost have to... So, in the pair, you really have to take care of the back end. In the four, it is... You have to accelerate it like the back end, uh, like the pair, but it's not quite the same. You still have to be pretty sharp on the front, whereas in the pair, it's more of like you you kind of hook up and try and get a little bit on the front and then just whoosh, send and try not to put weight down on the back. Obviously, the four is significantly faster than the pair. World record for a pair is 6.08, and the world record for a four is in the, uh, five, I think it's 5.30, in the 5.30s. So significantly faster, and that just means that you have to be that little bit more on it. Not necessarily like trying to lift the world, but a bit more sensitive to the quickness of the boat. You really have to sort of hook that boat up and connect very quickly, whereas in the pair, it's almost like gathering and then sending the boat through. And obviously having more people in the boat, I think, just contributes to a more exciting atmosphere if you will and then obviously when you go into the eight you have nine people in that boat where you can also bounce off each other but when you go into the pair it's just you and one other person where all you two are doing is trying to make the boat go fast and then so it's very it's full of pressure in the pair and then as the boats get bigger you can sort of share that pressure around whether it's in the four or the eight itself so in the bigger boats you it's you almost feel less pressure like I said, mentioned before, you can sort of put the pressure on other people in the boat. And when you're in a pair, you're saying, okay, I'm putting my pressure on the stroke man. Or when you're in the eight, you can kind of go, well, there's seven guys in this boat. I'm going to do as best I can in my seat. And there's seven guys to back me up kind of thing. So that makes a bit of a difference. As I think the rain is beginning, it smells like rain a bit. But I think that will be it for today's video. Had a couple, an exciting meeting earlier as well to do with things going forward with Henley and with Leander and different things. So we'll see kind of how that goes. But as well, in the description below is a link to my new Patreon. Let me know what you think of that and if you have any suggestions for that. Like I said, there's uh, three tiers. One for that sort of... All of them are for people who just want to help out due to the funding cut that I've had over the last sort of week or so and heading forward. And... It's for going towards sort of my expenses. So trying to get rent covered, trying to get the bills covered, trying to get the food covered. Because remember, food is fuel and very important when training. And obviously I understand that it's uh, I'm in an absolutely amazing position to just roll so often. And I feel a little bit weird just in general putting the Patreon out there. So if it feels like a bit weird to you as well, let me know in the comments below because I don't really want that to happen. Um, but I've got the three tiers up there, so that one where it's just a, um, for people who want to contribute, it's kind of equal to like a coffee a week idea kind of thing. Um, another one with the merch tier, where you get merch every month, 
or from me and I'm starting to decide what that might be. If probably a random item that I might make, whether it's a t-shirt, a hoodie, um, or different things like that. And then another tier, this, this sponsorship tier who, I mean, I'll, I'll just put up that there. If someone feels so generous that they wanted to do that, um, but I don't fully expect no one to use that one. And it's just sort of there in case I run into a situation where that would be useful. And obviously for that one, that's sort of like, I'm going to want to meet that person and thank them for being so generous, having a coffee, maybe down at the club, etc. But that is it, I believe, for money talk for a while. I'll probably just mention the Patreon every so often if it's, if it's working and if it's not coming over is a bit weird, but no more mention about sort of the funding cuts and whatnot. Just going to go back to fully vlogging. But the rain hasn't started. It is looking like the sun might come out, maybe. And as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one on this lovely Friday. Enjoy your weekend.